I want to take you back to the League Cup match against Swindon Town. Yeah. Leeds have a co corner in the last minute. Can you tell us what happened? Well, we were really struggling at that point with Leeds um, in the league. We were losing players. The financial situation was well documented. And it was looking like we were going to get knocked out of the cup by a, a team that was, I think, one or two leagues lower than us. It was 2-1. It was, it was in injury time. So I've looked over to the bench at Peter Reid, who didn't even look at me. I don't even think he wanted me to go up. He didn't look at me. So I just stood <laughs> up on myself and I went. And then the first corner, the lads played short and it went out for another corner. And then I'm, I'm caught in no man's land. I'm thinking, well, I look back at the goal. I thought, I'm not running all the way back there again. And it was nearly out of time. So I stayed up in the box uh, and the cross came in and I managed to get a header uh, and equalised and been a frustrated centre forward like a lot of goalkeepers. It was an unbelievable moment. Though all the all the saves that you can make as a goalkeeper, all the penalty saves you can make, no feeling that you're getting goal ever comes like scoring a goal. It was an incredible feeling. Um, we went on to win that match on penalties, uh, saved a couple of penalties. It was a bit of a Roy the Rovers moment for me that night. I'm run to the near post <laughs> and to the far post. But as I say, we're all frustrated strikers as goalkeepers. But the, the beauty of it is we all get to shoot against each other in training because we obviously train on our own as goalkeepers. So the, 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 we, we join in with the outfield squad later on during the session. So we've got to provide the ammunition for the goalkeepers. So when we're doing crossing against each other, the other goalkeepers are obviously in the box trying to recreate the, the same situation. So we do get an opportunity to do a little bit of finishing. March the 17th, 2007, you played against Watford and you scored another goal. Can you tell us about that goal? That one was a bit lucky. That was, the <laughs> lucky um, that was just a big kick down the field. I don't know if you've seen it, but that was a free kick that was given just outside my box. Um, and I think it was Mido that was playing for us at the time. And he was a, a centre forward who generally didn't move much unless the ball came near him. And I think my, obviously my kick just missed him. And Ben Foster in the Watford goal misjudged it. I think he thought his central defender was going to head it. The, the defender thought that Ben was coming out to get it. And it was just lucky. Um, it took a huge bounce and went in. It was just, it was a very surreal moment, a, a strange moment. But, you know, I enjoy scoring goals. <laughs> I've still got all the kit from that day. It was, it was quite funny, actually. Kept everything. I've got my, well, my dad's got it. He's got the boots, socks, shorts, shirt, everything. And I was just about to leave the ground. And the kit man come to me and he went, have you got the ball? I went, no, that's a good point. Anyway, long story short, we had to chase the referee out of the stadium because he put the ball under his arm thinking that'll be a keepsake in years to come. So we <laughs> get the ball back off the referee.